Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're wondering where part three of the Ranchero door lock and putting the door back together, putting the door card back on, if you're wondering where that is, there's been a slight delay uh, due to only the fact that we've had some storm damage up here at the channel. So it's only a little bit. Uh, we've been a lot better off than a lot of you have out there that have suffered losses of vehicles and, uh, and, and buildings and roofs on buildings. So we did just have a small amount of storm damage, but obviously it's something that needs to be taken care of. I will be today though, I want to, uh, well, I want to take you back in time. Just a little bit, not too far, but I want to take you back in time. Now all you fellas and fellerettes that are out there that uh, many years ago used to visit all those wonderful weekend car shows in places like Ali Pali, Bellevue, all the open air car shows, North Wales Coastal Cruisers, uh, the, the Doncaster car show, um, everything in the UK that used to happen over the weekends, when we have all those wonderful, heavily customised, home built, home designed cars. We we'll very rarely see cars of that calibre, uh, or that's had that much time spent on today. But today's cars, uh, when they're modified, seem to just be modified with regards to exhausts, neon lights, and different, uh, different bits of body kit that are attached to the cars. Back in, uh, in the old school days though, cars were heavily modified, they were heavily modified by the owners at home, in their garages, in their sheds, and in some cases just in their gardens under a tarpaulin. I want to take a quick look back at those. Now you may remember if you've been around the custom car, modified car area for, for quite some time, you may remember cars like the Satisfaction Ford Cortina, Celestial Trans Am, the Capri known as that Capri. Uh, the Morris Minor van, known as Havoc, and, um, and then of course there was the glorious pride and passion Ford Torino, not to mention, not forgetting rather, the, uh, the Venom Capri. Now, if you have any of these, or if you know who owns these cars, I do know that the Satisfaction Cortina is either about to come back on the road, or is out on the road. I know that the Celestial Trans Am is, uh, has had recently some work done to it, uh, by a mate of mine and it is, uh, is looking to be back on the road if it's not already back on the road uh, and there is some video footage I believe on the internet of uh, the Pride and Passion Torino. What about all the rest though? Do you remember the Rebellion Hot Rod? Where are all these cars now? Are they still around? Are they still usable? Are they getting restored? Do you own one? Uh, what I'd like to do, as a lot of you know, uh, I run the Cars and Coffee and Cars and Bacon Buddies car meets at our local diner, uh, Millie's American Diner. What I'd like to do next summer is to get a lot of the old school cars together and hopefully get them to travel up to the diner and we'll do a special and we'll get them all up there. It'll be wonderful to see old school custom cars, uh, the amount of time that's gone into the paintwork on these cars, the amount of time that went into the design of them, the, the aggravation that the owners must have had when they were trying to put them all together and get things to work out and um, see the end results that they came up with. I'd love another opportunity to stand next to these cars and I'm sure a lot of you watching here uh, would like the opportunity to also stand next to these cars, get photos of the cars and indeed talk to the owners of the, of the cars or the current owners if the original owners no longer have the vehicle. But uh, if you know anybody who's got one of the old school custom cars, let's say from the late 70s through to the early 90s or indeed anything from the 90s uh, we did have the the Cal look uh, design that came out through the early 90s and took it into the 90s and then of course there's uh, what now seems to be known as boogie vans but back then were just known as ordinary custom vans. Well, I'd like to say a lot of the old school stuff, the Prefix, the Angulas, the Ford Pops, the Syrup and Begs uh, design, everything that was around back then in the days of full on car shows. I would love to get a lot of them, a lot of them up here to the diner and celebrate the gloriousness that is old school custom cars. So if you know anybody that, uh, that has one of the old school cars or is busy working on one of the old school cars in order to get it back on the road, uh, comment below or better still, share this video with them, uh, get them to get in touch with me and either leave us a comment below or send us an email at double zero garage at gmail.com and we'll see if we can organise something to get a bunch of the old school cars back together next summer and hopefully bring them to the diner because it would be great to see them. Uh, now I've had a couple of emails 
from people that have little fellas and little fellares. And apparently, they also like watching the channel. At the moment, because of their age group, they don't understand everything that they see on the channel when I do it. But um, their mums and dads, they explain to them what it is, what's happening, or they explain them as best they can. So what I thought I would do is keep the equilibrium, or keep the balance, in other words. And uh, with the, the time of year that it is, I'm going to do a couple of special videos just for the little fellas and the little fellarettes. Um, so something hopefully that they're going to enjoy, something they'll be able to understand, something they'll be able to relate to, and hopefully something they'll be able to enjoy doing. So what I thought I'd do for the little fellas and the little fellarettes, as well as you adult fellas and fellarettes, uh, I'm going to do a couple of builds of Lego. Now we don't get upset and don't go wandering off. Uh, it's, it's still going to be vehicles, uh, cars, trucks, pickups, etc. Uh, it's still going to be that, but it's just something a little bit different with it being the time of year it is, and hopefully it'll be able to uh, keep the little fellas and fellarettes entertained as well as you all don't want. And we're still going to be doing the normal stuff we do here at the channel, but I thought I'd just throw that in because there's something else you can enjoy on the channel. Uh, if you like what you've seen so far with all the other videos, uh, if you like what you've seen so far, give us a big thumbs up for it. And if you'd like to see more of the stuff I've got coming in the future, uh, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, obviously hit the notification bell and that will let you know when there's any more videos coming up when I'm uh, when I'm uploading a new one. Now the part three of the Ranchero Door, that's in the background being edited. So that will be available in the next couple of days. So you'll be able to see the last part of that one. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, share it amongst everybody. If you think it's a good idea uh, to try and get some of the old school cars back together and try and get them all up here in the northeast, in Northumberland, outside the diner, where uh, where they'll look absolutely amazing on display and it'd be great to stand, to stand next to them all. Then. Give us a comment below and uh, share the video. If you know any owners of old school custom cars, let them know um, to get in touch with me. As I say, leave a comment below. Email me at double zero garage at gmail.com and we'll see if we can arrange something to get them on camera or hopefully get them all up here to Millie's American Diner at one of my events there next year when the weather's a lot better than For now though, I'm going to get back into editing part three of the Ranchero video and uh, I would just like to say thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing and to the new subscribers I've received recently, thank you very much, I hope you're enjoying the channel. Uh, share this video amongst everybody that owns an old school car, let them know that uh, we want to hear from them and we'll take everything from there at this side of it. Bye for now.